There are more than one billion Catholics in the world today. A young French woman played a crucial role in the extensive growth of the church over the last two centuries. She played such a significant role, in fact, that it's really quite surprising how little known Pauline Jaricot is. Two hundred years ago, in 1822, she created an initiative that soon became pontifical and thus internationally recognized as an official part of the Universal Church. The Pontifical Mission Societies became the engine for the evangelization of the peoples of Africa, Asia, and Latin America, and are still operating worldwide today. The current president of the Pontifical Mission Societies, Archbishop Gian Pietro D'Altoso, admires Pauline Jaricot for her perseverance, and also for the fact that even then, she was far ahead of her time. It was always very impressive for me to see, for example, how very quickly after its founding this work spread to other countries. Germany, as early as 1834, example in Aachen, what we know as Missio Aachen, or in Munich in 1838, what is known as Missio München. But at first, Jaricot's life seemed to confirm some of today's influencer clichés. She was born in Lyon, France, on July the 22nd, 1799, the daughter of a wealthy family of silk manufacturers. Contemporaries described her as pretty and worldly, but also spoiled, vain, and arrogant. She went a little astray until at the age of 17, she heard a sermon on vanity that changed her life. She began to give away her fortune to the needy, simple laborers, and the sick. In addition, she built a network to support the missionary efforts of the church around the world. The purpose, if I can say it in one sentence, is to strengthen the structures of the local church. So the idea was, we have big mission countries. We have a great mission to missionize these countries. By mission, we also mean to establish a local church. And the pontifical mission societies have always had the task of establishing, financing, strengthening the structures of the local church. The pontifical mission societies have therefore founded and financed seminaries from the very beginning, so that this very idea is also strengthened. We need priests from the local area, and only then can a church also be called an important local church if it also has priests and religious from its own ranks. However, the founder, Pauline Jaricot herself, had to endure severe defeats during her lifetime. After a healing experience, which she attributed to St. Philomena, she collected money to build a model factory where workers would have better conditions. But Jaricot was cheated by the administrators and went bankrupt. Completely impoverished and discredited, she died on January the 9th, 1862 but her life's work developed into a precious instrument of evangelization. The charism of Pauline Jaricot is, if I had to say it in one sentence, I could of course say quite a lot, that we all, as baptized Christians, have a responsibility for evangelization, and that we all participate in this evangelization, very concretely through prayer, through sacrifice, also through giving. But the idea is, all of us can, all of us as baptized people, can participate in this missionary work. For Archbishop D'Altoso, the beatification on May the 22nd is also a confirmation of Pauline Jaricot's charism and the importance of the work of the mission societies. For the generation of digital natives, on the other hand, her life can also be a model. Jaricot's experience shows that conversions happen and even, and perhaps especially, self-referential influencers can turn things around and become an extraordinary force for good. Mm -hmm.